One person is dead. At least 75 are sick from an E. coli outbreak linked to McDonald's quarter pounders. This follows a deadly listeria outbreak linked to Boar's Head Deli Meats. So today we're asking how safe is our food and what's being done to make it safer? Tara Molina takes us inside a lab at Illinois Tech where they are studying what causes these outbreaks right now. The work happening in labs like this one, not only about learning more about why some food products can make us sick, but what can be implemented to make sure they don't. With apple cubes? You're looking at very small pieces of apple. The researchers in this lab are monitoring those pieces for bacteria as the apple dries. A test Dr. Alvin Lee, who leads Illinois Tech's Institute for Food Safety and Health Center for Processing Innovation, says directly relates to the McDonald's outbreak happening now. To try and determine how pathogens behave in, in foods. Once we know how they behave in foods, it gives us much more information in terms of how we control them. Lee is a microbiologist and virologist with more than 20 years of research experience. I asked him if these outbreaks are happening more often or if we are hearing about them more often. We're seeing more outbreaks, partly it's because the regulators are also doing their work too, right? So they test more frequently. They are actually capturing all that results from incidences as well. Onions are sort of a emerging food product. Bill Marler has worked for decades as a foodborne illness lawyer, representing victims of outbreaks across the country. It's likely that this outbreak was caused by uh, fecal contaminated water. He told us he believes the changes he saw in the meat industry years ago need to make their way into farming and produce. The industry and government regulations have not kept up. Is our food supply more dangerous, more contaminated, or are we just getting better at researching it and figuring out what's wrong with it? Yeah, I think it's more the latter, right? So our food supply is, is safe, right? But we are, we're doing a lot more things nowadays to actually detect them. We have much more information about what is actually happening. We put more information from the experts we connected with in reporting this story today and the story you'll find on our website right now where we will continue to update the very latest on this outbreak. Reporting in Bedford Park, I'm Tara Molina, CBS News, Chicago.